Hey, it's nutritionist Chris here. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that's a little bit outside the box of normal nutrition chatter. I want to talk about the effect that negative thoughts can have on your digestive processes and your overall physical health. Now, a lot of people might not necessarily think about the relationship between what's going on in your mind and what's going on in your physical body, how you look and how you feel, but it's actually very, very important. Negative thoughts uh, take you out of the present moment and they take you to a place that doesn't exist. So negative thoughts, whether it's you know, fear about something that's coming up in the future, uh, perhaps uh, you might just be road raging, uh, you're angry in the car, uh, you might be having a fight with a loved one, you might have some jealousy towards someone, uh, you may have regret about something that happened in the past. Um, generally speaking, none of those things have to do with what's actually going on right now. Okay, What happened in the past happened in the past. Thinking about it, you're just creating something in your mind. Worrying about something that's coming up in the future, you're inventing a scenario in the future and you're worrying about it. Road raging, well, it's true, you're driving at the moment, but when you're angry at another person for your perception about what may have caused them to do what they just did, it's taking you out of the actual process of driving, which is what you're supposed to be doing at the moment. So all of these different things, worry, anger, jealousy, judgment, bring you out of the present moment into a place in your mind that ends up giving you a physical feeling of stress. And there are systems in your body that react to that stress. There's something called fight or flight mode. Fight or fight mode is something that uh, we've developed through our evolution to keep us alive in times of danger, times of real threat. So let's say you're being attacked by a saber-toothed tiger or a neighboring tribe. Or maybe you're actually at war and you're attacking the neighboring tribe. Regardless of what it is, when you're in times of extreme danger, your body shuts down certain natural processes and reallocates your energy. One of the things that's not important when you're in physical danger is, the, is digestion of your meal. Okay, So if you just ate something and then you're into fight or flight mode because you're uh, angry about something or worried about some other thing, your digestive system shuts down and your food ends up getting stored as fat and it doesn't build your tissues. That's not what we want from our meals. We want to actually break our food down efficiently and have it move into the bloodstream, get carried to our cells, rebuild worn out tissue, strengthen our organs and bring energy to our brain so that we can be uh, energetic, uh, vibrant, engaged and be living life in a thriving way. So I want to talk about a couple of the ways that I get rid of negative thoughts. And these are things that I have come to appreciate fairly recently in life. One of them is meditation. Now, I never really understood meditation before. I thought it was some freaky magic carpet ride sort of thing where you close your eyes and you travel into some imaginary place and it's wonderful and it, but it doesn't exist and so I'm never going to find it and so it's, it's just baloney. I just didn't get it. Um, I've now come to a different understanding of meditation. Um, I now use it as a way of emptying my mind of all thought and that includes those negative thoughts. So one way that you can meditate relatively easily is just to find 10 minutes, set a timer on your phone for 10 minutes, sit down quietly, close your eyes, and count your breaths. Every time you exhale, count. One, two, count up to 10, and when you reach 10, start over again. What you're doing when you do that is you're bringing yourself back to the present and you're concentrating on something that is real, which is your breath. You're no longer thinking about things that are invented in your mind. You're not thinking about worry about something that might happen in the future. You're not concerned about the reaction somebody else might have to something that happened in the past. You're thinking about something real, your breath, which is current and present right now. 
Now, those other thoughts do pop into your mind when you're meditating. That can happen, and that's okay. You simply acknowledge them and then go back to counting your breath. And every time you get distracted, maybe you don't make it all the way to 10. You don't count 10 breaths in a row. If you get lost at three and you lose concentration, it's okay. You just go back to starting over at one again. 10 minutes later, the bell rings, your alarm goes off, your meditation is over, and you've had 10 minutes free of those negative thoughts. And it's very energizing. Another way that I try to get rid of my negative thoughts is through journaling. Now, journaling is another thing that I just never really had any patience for in the past. You know, I already lived my day. Now I'm going to write it all out. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time with it. Now I look at journaling a little bit differently. It's not about rewriting out what happened in your day. For me, it's about taking a negative thought, something that's recurring, that I, for whatever reason, I can't shake it. I thought about it when I got up in the morning. I thought about it again when I was brushing my teeth. Maybe I thought about it on the drive to work. Whatever it is, if it's in my mind, it's distracting me from what's actually going on around me. And I would rather look at what's going on around me, whether it's the other cars around me while I'm driving, whether it's simply a beautiful day, um, whether there is actually an issue to be dealt with, I need to deal with it, whether I'm working. I want to be in the present. By journaling out those negative thoughts, again, whatever they are, fear, anger, jealousy, it doesn't matter. By writing it out, there's something about the process of writing it down on paper and seeing the words come out on the, on the paper that is, it's different from typing it out. It's different from simply even just saying it. It's different from putting it into your phone. When you see it come out onto the paper, it's like it's coming out of you and then you can close the book when you're done. It only takes a couple of seconds sometimes to do it. And I find it's very effective. It doesn't cost very much to go to the dollar store and pick up a little notepad and write things in a journal. It costs absolutely nothing to meditate. Yet the effect on your health is monumental. The peace it can bring is beneficial. The fact that it's bringing you into the present so that you can actually enjoy the life that you have is very valuable as well. And then the bonus of it is that your food's going to get digested properly because you're not in fight or flight mode all day. You're in rest and digest mode like you're supposed to be, unless there's an actual danger. If there's an actual danger, yeah, you better deal with it. Your body's going to help you deal with it by putting you into fight or flight mode. You don't want to be put into that mode because of something you've invented in your mind. So consider meditating. Sit down for 10 minutes quietly. Straighten your back. Count your breaths. Journal things out. Just write out the thing that's bothering you. Just write it down and close the book. That's it. You don't have to write a long commentary about it. Just write the thing down. Observe your hand, bringing it out onto paper. Close it. I've been pleasantly surprised at how effective these things are. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any other things that you do to try to get rid of your own negative thoughts, I'd love to hear them. And uh, I'm wishing you a great day. Bye-bye.